I don't think it's very safe because look, we got open water just over here. Okay. Whoa. Oh no. Uh -huh. Oh no. What's gonna happen to me? Oh no. What if you're stupid? And you're at the Oh no! Oh no! Oh! The horror! Help me! Ah, I've fallen through the ice at Bowron Lake and I can't get up! That could have been nasty. Sketched out. Big moose. Getting angrier. Now if you jump off the roof. There she goes. You can never know what can happen. They're going on, you know. Right, here she comes. That was pretty close. <laughs> Holy. We just about lost Whalen. <laughs> Well, this is crazy. This is, uh, what's the January 3rd today? And we're at Bowron Lake in the Caribou Mountains. It's cloudy over there and so on. You can't see the big mountains are there. I mean, these are big mountains. There's glaciers over there. Uh, for a little while longer, there's glaciers there. <laughs> and uh, this is at the gate of the, this is the, the Bowron Lake. It's, and I know what's gonna happen is something even crazier. There's like animals having babies right now. And uh, trees are budding and there's like plants who think it's, you know, the wilderness kingdom right now seems to think it's spring. And when we get this uh, big cold snap coming, however cold it will be, uh, I'm a little worried for what that will do to uh, all these creatures. I mean, all the living things that are not ready for a deep cold now. Made a noise as soon as I stood up. Like, Ooh. They have some open water here. See how we walked up behind the tree? So you can get kind of close to them just flying off. I don't know what these swans will do when it's, if it's minus 30 in eight days from now. Poor guys. Yeah. They've been tricked into thinking it's a nicer winter than it is. They might even think maybe it's spring and their heads are confused. I heard of geese flying north. I think what's disappointed me about the ice situation here on at Bowen Provincial Park is I intended fully to get out this winter and do some winter camping out there. You cannot travel safely anywhere in the backcountry right now. So uh, it's a bummer I need it to freeze up. Uh, I also don't like going winter camping when it's been wet out like it has been because then you get wet and you get cold. So I like it. Nice cold snap, freeze everything up, give me some ice so I can make some cool YouTube videos to back the bower on this winter for all my viewers and subscribers. I thought he was just a really ugly duckling and everybody was mean to him, but then when he grew up, he was a beautiful swan and everybody was nice and kind to him. Yeah, swans, they mate for life, eh? Husband and wife for life. They're more loyal to each other than humans are. <laughs> Same as seahorses. Yeah, lots of animals are like that, eh? Stop! Whoever approaches the bridge of death must answer me these questions. Three, there, the other side, they see. <laughs> so. so far, I have seen no sign, no fish to count in the river anywhere. Uh, not seen one fish so far, and I mean, I'm not drawing any conclusions to that because I wouldn't expect to see fish in the river at this time of year normally. But usually in the spring, when the ice thaws and then some bugs come out is when they start to come out of the lake up the river. So whatever's going on this year hasn't really changed, it doesn't seem, the behavior of the fish in this area. But I am not Pete Corbett. I am not a marine scientist, a fish biologist or anything like that. I just really like killing them. The spawning habits of these guys are also one of the clues that brings the fish out of the lake into the river. I would just like the world to know how thankful I am to my patrons and supporters. Thank you, everybody! My advice for any of you wild animals out there that might be watching this channel is thinking about having babies because the weather's nice. Uh, knock it off, you horny buggers, because uh, winter still is coming. <laughs>